let's do part A. In part A, we find the work done uh, pulling slit uh, up the incline. So we know that work done W is equal to F dot D. And F dot D can be written as uh, F D cosine of theta. In this case, uh, since force and displacement are in the same direction, therefore theta is equal to zero degrees. Well, F here is uh, 150 and displacement is 50 times cosine of zero degrees. So in this case, force and displacement are uh, in the same direction. And therefore, work done is equal to uh, 7,500 joules. Now let's do part B. Well, in part B, we, we find work done uh, moving slid down uh, the incline. So we find work done uh, moving slid down the incline. All right. So in this case, uh, theta, theta is equal to uh, 180 degrees. And theta is uh, the angle between force and displacement. So theta is the angle between force and displacement. Again, using uh, W is equal to F D cosine theta. Well, F is uh, 150 and D is 50. And theta is equal to 180 degrees. And therefore, uh, this is equal to minus 7,000 500 joules. All right. Now let's do part C. In part C, we need to find out uh, the work done by Earth moving slit uh, down uh, the incline. All right. So we need to find out work done by Earth uh, moving slit uh, down the incline. And it's equal to it's uh, work done uh, by Earth moving slid down the incline is equal to 7,500 uh, joules. Well, let me explain this. Well, if the rope becomes a uh, part of the system and the Earth becomes external to the system, then uh, since Earth's gravitational force acts downwards, so gravity, gravity acts downward uh, toward the center of the Earth. Uh, the displacement and external applied force act in the same uh, direction. So the displacement and the external applied force act in the same direction. So the work done will be the same is in part B, uh, the work done will be the same as in part B, but uh, with the sign uh, reversed. Therefore, work done is equal to 7,500 uh, joules.